you were born to achieve something significant. You were designed for greatness. See beyond the obstacles. Discover your possibilities. Release the champion within. This is destiny. Now here's Paul and Denise Anderson. What is this? This, this is, is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I can do what it says I can do. I can have what it says I can have. Today I will be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My heart is receptive. I will never be the same. Never, 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 ever, ever, ever. I will never be the same in Jesus' name. Amen. And I don't want to be the same. Amen. We will never be the same after receiving the engrafted word of God that is able to save our souls. Woo, salvation. Thank you, Amen. Lord. And everyone needs their soul saved. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. All right. So we're speaking on I still believe. I still believe. Come on, y'all. We're still speaking. And so if you're alive, I am alive. Are you alive? I'm alive. Are you guys alive? Are, are y'all alive? Yeah. Okay. If you're alive, then you know that life can be difficult. Amen. Some days are great, mm -hmm. but some days are just hard. There can be days or even long seasons of financial struggles, family tensions, uncertainty, sicknesses, or loneliness. Struggles rarely come when we expect them. <laughs> And can leave us feeling crippled and defeated. They leave us feeling we've lost control or wondering where to turn. We've all experienced difficulties in our life. But we still need to believe. Amen. Amen. Say, I still need to believe. I still need to believe. No matter what's going on in my life. No matter what's going on in my life. I know life, God is good to me. I know God is good to me. Has been good. Has been good. Is being good. Is being good. Will always be good. Will always be good. Come on. So you have to still believe what the word of God says. You still have to trust him in the middle of whatever it is. Amen. All right. Let's get started. Here. And each of us have a whatever it is. <laughs> And some multiples, whatever it is. Yes, that's right, Ashley. Amen. All right. Uh, so we left off last week talking about David and his men um, in uh, First Chronicles 14, 11, uh, where David and his men went out and defeated the Philistines. Uh, then they renamed the Valley of the Giants Bel Perazim because God is the God of the breaking through. When you face the Valley of Debt, struggle, lack, sickness, depression, overwhelming circumstances, not knowing where to turn, not having a clear direction, rename it the Valley of Abundance, Promotion, Increase, I have the mind of Christ. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me, whatever it is. Rename that thing. I know as I was driving on my way here this morning, just all these different thoughts, you know, of different situations and circumstances started to weigh me down. And I, you know, it was beginning to be a burden. And then a song came on the radio, Nothing Else Matters. And I happened to like that song. I was like, yeah, I'm going to praise you and lift you up. Nothing else matters. And that's not to say that these situations and circumstances aren't viable. They're, they don't have any merit. They do. But we need to um, exalt God above the different situations and circumstances that you may be facing. So I still believe that I have been sanctified, set apart for the purpose of God for my life and for the glory of his kingdom no matter how many mistakes you've made y'all need to get this no matter how many things you've done wrong you need to still believe that you have a purpose you have been set apart god has set you apart for a purpose yeah. there is something that he wants you to complete there is something that he wants you to start come on y'all even though you make mistakes. 
even though you don't do everything right. I'll look on this side. Even though y'all don't do everything right or make mistakes. I know Glorious don't make any mistakes, but the rest of y'all out there. Amen. But God wants you to understand he has set you apart. You are set apart for a purpose and you need to believe that God is for you. Amen. He is for me. And the thing about it is it's the goodness of God that does everything. I know it's, the scripture says it's the goodness of God that cause, causes men to repentance, but it's God's goodness that we're saved, that we're blessed, that we still have breath. That we're forgiven. That we're forgiven, that we're made. It's, so, you know, sometimes we think, well, if I do A, B, C, D, and E right, or because I did F, G H I wrong, then God won't do the thing that he said he would do, but it's not what we do. I mean, obviously we have to receive Jesus as our Lord and savior and walk in obedience, but it's God who is directing us. So as we're following him, even if we make a mistake, if we stumble first, John one, nine, forgive me for, of my sins, uh, cleanse me of my sins, forgive me of all unrighteousness. The word says a, a, a righteous man will fall seven times, but God will lift him up. So, you know, it's God that's doing this. And it's, it's not your destiny is not based on performance. Right. It's not performance based. Yes. Come on, y'all. It's based on what God is doing in your life. And when you recognize that it's not based on what I do, but it's based on what he's doing through me, then you won't get so down and out and get all upset with yourself because you made a mistake or you didn't do things perfectly or have guilt consciousness. Right. Saying, well, it, you know, that can't happen to me because I had an abortion or I had a divorce or I killed someone or whatever it is that, that, or I pointed the finger at somebody on the freeway in a moment of pain. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Come on, y'all. So you need to recognize that God is a forgiving God. He really is. He's not sitting up in heaven with a stick and a bat waiting for you to make a mistake. He is not like people. And that's one of the challenges that we have. We judging God by people and we can't judge God by people. He is not like people. Come on, y'all. So God thinks differently. John 17 uh, verses 16 to, through 19 out of the Amplified says, uh, this is Jesus speaking. They are not of the world. He's making a prayer to the Father on our behalf. They are not of the world, worldly, belonging to the world, but as I am not of the world. Just as I am not of the world. Sanctify them. Talking about really his disciples. Purify them. Purify, consecrate, separate them for yourself. Make them holy by the truth. Your word is truth. And this is so vitally important. God's word is what's true. I read it something uh, the other night. Well, let me keep going. Just as you sent me into the world, I also send them into the world. And so far, and so for their sake, and on their behalf, Jesus said, I sanctify, dedicate, consecrate myself that they may also that they also may be sanctified dedicated consecrated <clears throat> made holy in the truth so see it wasn't by their works it was by what jesus did he said so for their sake and on their behalf i sanctify jesus sanctified dedicate consecrated himself so that they may also be sanctified dedicated consecrated so it's not what we 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 do is what he did. We were supposed to be obedient, but it's what he did. But going back to the truth, I read an, uh, 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 something where this person was saying that a transgender man can have a baby. A transgender man can have a baby because the, uh, these two, a transgender person and the woman, uh, wanted to have a baby, but the woman couldn't have a baby. 
She had had several miscarriages and they wanted to have a baby. So this transgender person stopped taking the hormones so that they could get impregnated. So this trend, this person is, is transitioning from a woman to a man. They got pregnant. They needed a sperm donor. They got pregnant, had a baby. And this person is still putting off, postponing the transition so that they could have another baby. But their whole thing was to say that a transgender person can't, man, can have a baby. And it's like, this is not truth. You're a woman, you're a female. You might be transitioning into a male, but you are a female. A man can't have a baby because a man doesn't have a womb. And so when it says your word is truth, don't be swayed by all the different issues that are going on. And I'm not against transgender people. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying the truth is the truth. Not my idea of what's truth, but what is truth. God's word is truth. Don't be deceived and don't be swayed by the craziness that's out in the world. So God made Adam and Eve. He made Adam and Eve. Amen. Praise the Lord. But there's another thing here uh, where Jesus said, just as you sent me into the world, I also have sent them into the world. And so for their sakes and on their behalf, I sanctify, dedicate, concentrate, my, consecrate myself that also that they also may be sanctified dedicated consecrated and made holy so then the bible says when we receive jesus christ as a lord and savior we are now sons and daughters of the most high and we are in christ jesus so because we are in christ jesus guess what we are sanctified we have been dedicated consecrated and made what holy, holy. Not because of us, but because of who we're in. We are in Christ Jesus. We're in Christ Jesus. Thank Come you, on. Lord. So he did that so that when God looks at you, he sees this. He this sees is what Jesus. he sees. Yes. He sees you sanctified. Mm -hmm. I'm talking to y'all out there. I know I'm looking over here, but I'm talking to everybody. When God looks at you, he sees you sanctified. Thank you, he Lord. sees you dedicated. Yes. He sees you consecrated mm -hmm. and he sees you holy. Hallelujah. Come on. Nothing so, else matters. Right? Nothing else matters. Mm -hmm. Don't look at what don't be uh, moved by what people say about you. Come on, y'all. What the news says about you, what reports may say. Come on. Yeah. You have to remember you are in Christ Jesus. <laughs> Say this with me. I am consecrated. I am consecrated. Set apart. Set apart. Dedicated. Dedicated. And have been made holy. And have been made holy. And made righteous. And made righteous. Come on. That's who you are. That's who I am. So you should always be looking in the mirror. I still believe. I still believe. I don't care what people say, mm -mm. what they do, or what they don't do. I don't care what it looks like, what I have or don't have. I still believe because look what he did for me. Come on. Anyway. I like that. Can I shout for y'all? Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right. Don't accept lack and defeat as your destiny. Say that again, please. Don't, don't accept lack and defeat as your destiny. And lack is not necessarily financial. Lack could be a lack of confidence, a lack of education, lack of motivation, you know, lack of direction, lack of clarity, mental clarity. It, lack could be any number of things. And we know defeat is any number of things as well. So don't accept lack and defeat as your destiny. It may have been that way in the past, but God raised you up to put an end to it. That was the reason for <clears throat> the shedding of blood when the animals were slain in the garden to clothe Adam and Eve. That was the purpose of it. 
to redeem us back to the Father and to cause us no, no, longer, no longer to be slaves to sin. He purchased our freedom. Do you understand what I'm saying? That's why we're kings and priests to our God. He wanted to restore us back to the place that Adam and Eve, uh, what do you call it? What did they do? They gave it they up. They failed. To, they gave it up to the enemy. Gave it up to the enemy. So see, God raised you up to put an end to any amount of lack. What is this? Uh, defeat. We are more than victorious in Christ Jesus. We are more than conquerors. Amen. More than conquerors. So your past cannot hold you back. So your, your attitude should be, God, I want to thank you that even now you're prospering me. Even now you're opening new doors, bringing opportunities, divine connections, increase across my path. Come on. You guys say this with me. Y'all say this with me. Even now. Even now. You're opening up new oppor new opportunities for me. You're opening up new opportunities for me. You're opening up new doors for me. You're opening up new doors for me. You're bringing divine connections. You're bringing divine connections. And increase. And increase. Across my path. Across my path. Even Hallelujah. now. Even now. Even now, even when I am challenged with different situations and yes. circumstances, yes. God, you are working on my behalf in the spirit realm and i can't see it but i'm believing amen i believe i believe i still believe. come on y'all i still believe come on and there's nothing you can do to stop me from believing amen, amen. and you know to get to that point of i still believe if you've ever been in a jungle or a forest where there's just so much growth and you can't see anything and you you know you're trying to wade through or if you're swimming in a bunch of muck and mire and, you know, it's just stuff all over and you're trying to get through. Some of us have all those things to get through to get to that point. I still believe or we might have to go through all that stuff, you know, like a hoarder where, you know, they've got to go through so much stuff just to get from one place to another. Some of us have so much stuff to wade through, but we can wade through it. We can go through. I still believe, like with Abraham and his promised child, Isaac, God has provided a sacrifice for me. And who is who is our sacrifice? Well, Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Come on, y'all. Christ was our sacrifice. He came from heaven down to this sinful world in order that we, all of us, could have the privilege to be sons and daughters of the Most High God and to live the biblical life kingdom life that he has for us anyway he paid an awesome price amen it's not impossible it will happen tell your neighbor it's not impossible it's not impossible whatever that impossible thing is it's not impossible it will happen it will happen so he gave you a dream it's not impossible it's not impossible it will happen he gave you a destiny it's not impossible it will happen. He gave you a desire. It's not impossible. It will happen. He gave you an idea. It's not impossible. It will happen. He gave you a vision. It's not impossible. It will happen. He gave you a husband. It's not impossible. It's not impossible. It will, it will happen. happen. <laughs> he gave you a wife. It's not impossible. It will happen. He gave you a job. It's, it's not impossible. It will happen. To the glory of who? God. God gets the glory. When you stand in faith and you say, I believe no matter what, it will happen. It's not impossible. God gets the glory. But when you cower back and, and, and give up, then guess who's getting the glory? The enemy. So you need to stand on the word of God no matter what. It's not impossible. All things are possible to him that what? Believe. All things are possible to him that what? Believe. Him or she. She or he. Come on, y'all. Male or female. All things are possible to them that what? Believe. 
I still believe, even though the medical report is not good, I still believe that my children will be mighty in the land. I still believe that I live debt free, pay off my house and be a blessing to others. I still believe that I'll accomplish my dreams, build that school, medical clinic and church in Liberia, start the business, step into the fullness of my destiny. I still believe that's right, Margo. It's possible. It's possible to hear that voice saying, Mama, it's possible. Come on, y'all. You know, I I, I, I I, did this on purpose. So I want y'all to say something. Amen. Don't just sit there and, and say, Amen, Dad. Praise the Lord. No, open your mouth. What is your impossible? Make What's your yours possible? Make your confession of faith. Say this with me. I still believe. I still believe. Even though the medical report is Even not good. Even though the medical report is not good. I still believe. I still believe. That my children will be mighty in the land. That my children will be mighty in the land. That my grandchildren will be mighty in that the land. That my grandchildren will be mighty in that the land. That my great, great grandchildren will that be mighty great, in the land. That my great, great grandchildren will be mighty in the land. I still believe. I still believe that I'll be that I am debt free. That I am debt free. I'm paying off all my bills. Paying off all my bills. I'm paying off my house. Paying off my house. Paying off the car. Paying off the cars. I am debt free. I'm debt free. So that I can be a blessing. So that I can be a blessing to others. To others. Because I'm blessed. Because I'm blessed to be a blessing. To be a blessing. I still believe. I still believe that I'll accomplish my dream. That I'll accomplish my dreams. Come on, y'all. I still believe that we're going to build a school. Oh, absolutely. We're going to build the, a school. The medical clinic. The medical clinic. And the church in Liberia. And the church in Liberia. Come on. I still believe that your my business. I still believe that my business is going to prosper and succeed. To, will prosper and succeed. I still believe. I still believe that I'm stepping into my destiny. I'm stepping into the fullness of my destiny. To the fullness of my destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Come on. Don't just sit there and be laying back on the couch. You need to have been speaking those words over yourself. Yes. Yes. Because the more you hear it from you, the deeper it'll get down on the inside of you. Amen. Amen. All right. What have you given up on? That's a question to everybody. What have you given up on? What have you decided is never going to happen because you think you have missed your opportunity? You think you're too old. You think you made too many mistakes. You think things are never going to happen. I'm down in the dump. I don't have this. I don't have that. I don't have the connections. Come on. You have the greatest connection that you could ever have, and that's God. He is your father. You don't need anything else. Come on, y'all. Anyway. You know, it's so funny you said that. <clears throat> My card tells me when it needs servicing. And so it told me, you know, your car needs service in 30 days. And then it counted down. <laughs> 29 days, 28 days like that. And so uh, I've been in L.A., and when I got in my car this morning and it said, you need servicing, I was like, oh, I forgot that message was even there because so many <laughs> other things happened. <laughs> that which was looming so largely is like, oh, you took a back seat to everything else. <laughs> I still believe that I am healthy. Wait a no, minute. Wait no. A minute. no you were what have you? Okay. God will move heaven and earth for those who believe. I will say that again. God will move heaven and earth for those who believe. The word says that he is watching over his word. The eyes of the Lord uh, roam to and fro over the earth, watching for his word to perform it. His word is not, I don't know what I'm going to do. It's never, that's not his word. Those are your emotions. Those are your feelings. That might be the circumstance. Amen. So, Father, we just thank you for your word. We thank, thank you, you that Father. your word is alive and living on the inside thank of each you, and every Lord. person individually. And it will thank prosper you, prosper in the thing that you have sent it to prosper Amen. in their lives. Yes. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. If you not receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, I want to give you an opportunity to receive him today. Mm -hmm. It will be the best decision that you ever made in your life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So would you pray this prayer, Miss 
prayer with me. Say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I repent of my sins. I repent of my sin. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. I make you my Lord and Savior. I make you my Lord and Savior. Because I confess with my mouth. Because I confess with my mouth. And believe in my heart. And I believe it in my heart. God raised you from the dead. God raised you from the dead. I am saved. I'm saved. If you prayed that prayer, Hallelujah. we believe you got born again. Hallelujah. We believe also that you'll get in a good Bible-based church and keep Jesus Christ first place in your first life. First place. And welcome to the family of God. Amen. 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 All right, Destiny, are you ready to give? Yes. So East Bay, Texas, to give is 925-237-9688. LA, Texas, to give 323-400-6312. And I know you want to give into the Liberia Project, Liberia Project. I know you want to be a blessing to the children and the families of Liberia so that they can say, I still believe. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. So that they can say, I still believe for the dream. I still believe for the vision. I still believe for the destiny. I know you want to do, be a blessing to them so they can have the thing that God has placed in their life. In their life. So text to give to 925-267-6836. Any amount to text to give to 925-267-6836. Or you can just hit that little QR code. The QR code that's on the video or the QR code that's on uh, the, the uh, announcements. The announcement. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. It'll take Amen. you directly to. Or that one right there. That one right there. You can put your phone up there right now. Come on, put your phone up there right now. Send that thousand dollars. Send that two hundred thousand dollars. Send that five thousand dollars. Send that yes. five thousand. Amen. 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 Or send any amount to Destiny in, Christian to Destiny Center. Christian Center. Amen. Five twenty. Go ahead. Garcia Avenue, mm -hmm. Suite D, Pittsburgh, California. Amen. Nine four five six five. All Amen. right. So, Father, we just thank you and praise you. We thank, thank you, you, Father, Lord. for everyone who's given into the ministry for the furtherance you, of your gospel. Yes. We thank you, Father, for those who are giving into the Liberia Project yes. to be a blessing to the children and families of Liberia. Father, we believe, as you said in your word, that you will open up doors of opportunity for them, that you will cause their dreams to come to pass. You will call the vision and the destiny that, they, that you have for them, that you planted on the inside of them, Thank that you, that Father. thing will happen for them. Thank you. And Father, we believe that they believe yes. that all things are possible, things are possible. in Jesus' name. In Jesus name. Amen. Amen. All right, everybody. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hallelujah. Goodbye, Misha, Lexine, <laughs> Patty, Jr., Margo, everybody in the house. Amen. I can't see all these uh, yes. everybody right now, mm -hmm. but everybody mm -hmm. that's here. Yes. Thank you for tuning in. Yes. Ashley and Paul and all the children. Raina. Delia. Raina, we believe that you're healed in Jesus' name. Amen. Delia. Amen. Hallelujah. Everybody. <laughs> amen. Glory to God. All right. But as you go through the rest of your week, keep standing in faith. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Thanks for watching. See you next time on this is destiny.